The story of Persian Jews is a remarkable tapestry woven over 2,500 years. It is a story of resilience and cultural exchange. From the days of ancient empires to the complexities of the modern era, Persian Jews have endured. They have thrived, leaving their mark on the very soul of Persia. Their journey begins in the heart of ancient Mesopotamia. It continues through the rise and fall of dynasties. This narrative speaks of both hardship and harmony. It is a testament to the enduring spirit of the Jewish community in Persia. Weaving through the grand narrative of Persian history, the Jewish presence has been constant. It is a presence marked by periods of relative peace. It is also marked by times of persecution. This complex interplay of acceptance and adversity has shaped a unique identity. It is an identity that is both distinctly Persian and undeniably Jewish. Section 2. The year was 539 BCE. A pivotal moment arrived for the Jewish people languishing in Babylonian captivity. Cyrus the Great, the Persian emperor, conquered Babylon. This victory would forever alter the course of Jewish history. Cyrus, known for his tolerance and wisdom, issued a decree. The decree allowed the exiled Jews to return to their homeland, Judea. This act of liberation resonated deeply with the Jewish people. Cyrus became hailed as a messiah-like figure, an instrument of divine will. He provided resources for the rebuilding of the temple in Jerusalem. This was a symbol of Jewish faith and identity left shattered by the Babylonians. While many Jews embarked on the journey back to Judea, a significant number chose to remain in Persia. The reasons were varied. Some had established businesses and families. Others felt a sense of connection to the land that had offered them refuge. This decision marked the genesis of a vibrant Jewish community in Persia. This community would flourish for centuries. It would maintain its distinct identity within the broader Persian society. This early chapter set the stage for a long and intricate relationship between Persian rulers and their Jewish subjects. Section 3, generations later, during the reign of the Persian king Ahasuerus, believed to be Xerxes I, the story of Esther unfolded. This dramatic tale, immortalized in the Book of Esther, is a cornerstone of Jewish history and identity. Esther, a young Jewish woman living in Persia, becomes queen with the king unaware of her heritage. When her uncle Mordecai uncovers a plot to annihilate the Jews, orchestrated by the wicked Haman, Esther's courage is put to the test. Risking her own life, Esther reveals her identity to the king. She exposes Haman's evil plan. Ahasuerus, moved by Esther's plea and his love for her, thwarts the genocide. Haman meets his demise on the very gallows he had built for Mordecai. This victory is celebrated annually during the joyous festival of Purim. It is a time for feasting, exchanging gifts, and remembering the power of courage and resilience. The story of Esther serves as a timeless reminder of the precariousness of Jewish existence. It also highlights the possibility of finding deliverance even in the darkest of hours. Section 4. The fall of the Achaemenid Empire and the rise of the Sasanian dynasty in 224 CE ushered in a new era for Persia and its Jewish community. The Sassanids, unlike their predecessors, adhered to Zoroastrianism as the state religion. This brought about a more complex and often tenuous relationship with their Jewish subjects. Periods of relative tolerance were punctuated by times of persecution. Jewish communities were often subject to restrictive decrees. They faced economic hardship and social discrimination. The Sasanian rulers viewed the flourishing Jewish communities with suspicion. They were seen as a potential threat to the religious and social order. Despite these challenges, the Jewish community displayed remarkable resilience. They clung to their faith and traditions. They found ways to thrive economically, often excelling in trade and commerce. The Sasanian period, while fraught with difficulties, solidified the presence of Jews in Persia. It honed their survival skills, preparing them for the challenges that lay ahead. Section 5. Arrival of Islam, a new reality. The 7th century CE witnessed a seismic shift in the political and religious landscape of Persia. The arrival of Islam, brought by the conquering Arab armies, ushered in a new era. The Sasanian Empire crumbled. A new order under the banner of Islam took hold. For the Jews of Persia, this marked a significant turning point. As people of the book, they were accorded a protected status under Islamic law known as Dhimmi. 
This status came with certain restrictions and obligations. They were required to pay a special tax, the jizya, in return for protection and the freedom to practice their religion. The Islamic conquest brought about a complex reality for Persian Jews. While spared the fate of forced conversion, they were relegated to a subordinate status. They navigated this new reality, adapting to the changing social and political dynamics while striving to preserve their religious and cultural identity. Section 6. The Safavid Era Tests of Faith The rise of the Safavid dynasty in the 16th century brought about profound changes in Persia. They established Twelver Shire Islam as the state religion. This had a significant impact on the Jewish community. The Safavid era was marked by increased pressure on religious minorities to convert to Islam. Jews faced suspicion and hostility, accused of being agents of foreign powers. Forced conversions became more frequent. The infamous al ahdad incident of 1656, where thousands of Jews were forcibly converted, cast a long shadow over the community. Despite the hardships the Jewish community endured, they maintained their faith. They found ways to navigate the complexities of Safavid rule. Their unwavering spirit and determination to preserve their identity became hallmarks of this period. Section 7, Qajar Uncertainties, A Time of Peril. The Qajar dynasty, which rose to power in the late 18th century, brought with it a period of political instability and economic hardship. For the Jewish community, this translated into continued vulnerability and a precarious existence. The Qajar rulers, though claiming to be more tolerant than their Safavid predecessors, often vacillated in their policies towards religious minorities. Instances of forced conversions and massacres like the tragic events in Mashhad in 1839, served as grim reminders of the ever-present dangers. The Jewish community lived with a constant sense of uncertainty. Their fate often hinged on the whims of local rulers and the prevailing political winds. Despite these adversities, the Jewish community demonstrated remarkable resilience. They found ways to rebuild their lives and communities in the face of adversity, their spirit unbroken. Section 8, A Modernizing Persia, the Pahlavi Years. The advent of the Pahlavi dynasty in the 20th century ushered in an era of modernization and reform in Persia. Under the rule of Reza Shah and his son, Muhammad Reza Shah, the country underwent significant social, economic and political transformations. For the Jewish community, this period marked a turning point. The Pahlavi monarchs, seeking to modernize Persia and integrate it into the global community, adopted more tolerant policies towards religious minorities. Jews experienced greater freedoms. They were able to participate more fully in public life. They excelled in fields like medicine, law, and commerce. This period of relative prosperity allowed the Jewish community to flourish. They established schools, synagogues, and cultural institutions. They contributed significantly to the economic and cultural development of Persia. This era stands as a testament to the potential for peaceful coexistence and mutual prosperity between different religious communities in Persia. Section 9. Revolution and Aftermath exodus and echoes. The Islamic Revolution of 1979 brought about another seismic shift in the landscape of Persia. The overthrow of the Pahlavi monarchy and the establishment of the Islamic Republic ushered in an era of uncertainty for the Jewish community. The new regime, while proclaiming tolerance for religious minorities, also espoused a revolutionary zeal that raised concerns. Many Jews, fearing persecution and seeking greater opportunities, chose to emigrate. The once thriving Jewish community in Persia dwindled, with many seeking refuge in Israel, the United States and Europe. Despite the mass exodus, a small Jewish community remains in Iran today. They face various challenges, including social and economic marginalization, restrictions on religious practices and the ever-present threat of official and unofficial discrimination. Their existence is a testament to the enduring connection of Persian Jews to their ancient homeland. Section 10, Enduring Legacy, A Tapestry of Culture. The long and intricate history of Persian Jews has left an undeniable mark on the cultural landscape of Persia. Over centuries, they've contributed significantly to the arts, sciences, trade, and intellectual life of their homeland. 
Their unique customs and traditions, often a blend of Persian and Jewish elements, have enriched the cultural tapestry of Persia. From the exquisite craftsmanship of Jewish silversmiths to the poignant melodies of Persian Jewish music, their legacy can be seen and felt in various aspects of Persian culture. The story of Persian Jews is a testament to the enduring power of faith and resilience. It is a story of cultural exchange and adaptation. Their journey through the annals of Persian history serves as a reminder of the complexities of human experience. It highlights the importance of understanding and appreciating the richness and diversity that different communities bring to society. Subscribe, like and stay tuned for another documentary on the exodus of Jews from their Arab homelands to Israel.